And our first guest today is one of our adoptable cats. This is Quince. Um, we had quite a few come on the floor and then very quickly, they, a couple of them got you know, snapped up and have found new homes. So um, the numbers are dwindling again on the cat floor, but kitten season is upon us. We have um, kittens in foster care right now. Just be, you know, you know, a month or so, maybe even six weeks before they're they're old enough to be able to be made available for adoption. But we do have some young adult cats like Quince. He's about three years old and he is in our greeter cage, which means that he's in the first cage when you walk in. He's super confident and can handle that. He's also a laid back guy. Um, not a ton of stuff seems to bother him. He's doing, you know, much better out here than than most of the cats you may have seen on the show in the past. Like he's just sitting there like a person in a chair, like just chilling, looking around. Um, he is very, you know, playful. He's very curious. He was loving watching them clean this morning with the mop and the broom and just kind of watching that. So he might be um, helpful or not so helpful in cleaning your home. Um, might be a, a time for him to play. Um, I think even when they trimmed his nails and stuff, it only took one person. So he's just kind of super chill. And uh, he's going to make a great companion for any number of families. Um, there's no age restrictions for him. I think you mentioned that some of the volunteers say he's a little bit of a love biter. Gets a little overstimulated, wants to give a little a little nip. And then usually it's like a nip and lick, like they're cleaning you. Um, like that's how they would groom themselves. They kind of nip, bite at it a little bit and then lick it clean. Um but uh, other than that, just like uh, a fun guy, a lot of people would say um, maybe they're not looking for black cats because there's kind of a negative stereotype with black cats. And I would say that's kind of a fallacy. Like black cats are awesome. Uh, I've owned black cats. And this is the, really the only country where people think that black cats are bad luck. In every other country in the world, they are listed as uh, something that would bring good fortune, good luck, things like that. So uh, let's take a cue from some of those other guys and get some of these wonderful black and ad uh, adoptable cats into homes. So his paperwork says he makes the best biscuits. Why do cats make biscuits? So he's actually making biscuits right now. So when cats are, are little and they're kittens, they're nursing, they nurse on, they need on their mother to kind of stimulate milk production while they're nursing. And because that's a pleasant experience for them, a pleasant memory, when they're in a good mood, they kind of tend to still do that. You'll see them do it when they're you know getting petted like he's doing now when he's feeling nice and comfortable and relaxed. Sometimes you'll see them do that in their beds. Um, so it's a good thing when they're doing that. Um, and that's kind of comes from that memory of, of young kittenhood. And he does like to make tons of biscuits and he's very good at it. Um, he's not the only one. Pansy is one of our other adoptable cats. She's a little shyer, which is why she's not on the show today, but she is also an excellent biscuit maker. And that's something that you like. Um, we have two um, very great uh, bakers, if you will, <laughs> available for adoption right now. If you're interested in Quince or any of our adoptable cats, the first step to making them part of your family is going to be going to visit fcac.as.me to book an appointment to meet these guys.